Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Gentle PSD. Today in this tutorial we will be learning about how to create this neon signboard and text effect in Photoshop without any external plugins. We will be using only one stock photo in this tutorial, so if you want to learn while watching this tutorial, make sure to download it, link is in the description. Before starting the tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials. So without any further ado let's begin. Create new document. Width is 1920 and the height is 1080, resolution 300, click OK. We will now import our stock photo by simply dragging it to the Photoshop. Increase its size by pressing Alt and Shift, then click OK. Create a new layer. Take your brush tool. Now we will change the foreground color to brown, or you can enter the hexadecimal number. Type in 421B27, click OK. Increase the brush size, by holding ALT and drag it downward. Make sure the hardness is 0%. Click the brush tool at the center. Now change the blend mode to screen. As you see our foreground color is applied very well to our stock photo. Again create a new layer. Take your rounded rectangular shape tool. and make a rectangle shape. We don't need any fill. But we need stroke. Change the stroke size to 7 pixels. As you see our rectangle shape corner is not rounded fully. To make it more rounded, drag the round corner icon like this. That looks good. Now take your rectangle marquee tool, and make a shape like this over the rectangle shape. Make sure to arrange it perfectly. Click the mask icon to create a mask. Press Ctrl I to invert it. Create a new layer. Take your ellipse shape tool and make a circle by holding shift. We don't need fill. We will use white stroke. Change the size to 5 pixels. Now transform it by pressing Ctrl T and place it like this. Click OK. Now duplicate the circle layer by pressing Ctrl J, and transform it by pressing Ctrl T and place it like this. We are going to need 4 circles so keep doing the process, until you create all 4 circles like this. Now select all 4 circles then group it, by pressing Ctrl G and transform it, increase its size so it can fit in that area smoothly. Click OK. Now right click on the group and select ungroup layers. Select all the shape layers by pressing shift. Right click on the selected layers and click convert to smart object. Now double click on the smart object. We will add, in a glow. Change the opacity to 100%, and change the color to blue. Click OK. Change the choke to 9% and size to 1 pixels. Make sure the range is 50%. Now select Outer Glow. 
change the color to purple and click OK. Make sure the opacity is 64%. Change the spread to 0 and the size to 38 pixels. Range to 50%. Change the blend mode to screen. Now add drop shadow. Change the color to dark purple. and opacity to 50%. Blend mode to multiply. Make sure the angle is 90 degree, distance 10, spread 5, size 7. Click OK. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. We will add some Gaussian blur to it. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Change the radius to 2, click OK. Reduce the opacity to 60%. We can now start typing our text. Take your text tool. I will use this font named Rotondac. Change the color to an orange. Type in your name. Decrease the type size. Click OK. Transform it and place it in the center. Now the text has been placed perfectly in the center. Double click on our text layer to bring the layer style window. We will add in a glow. Change the color to an orange. Leave the other element as it is. Now select outer glow. Change the opacity to 50%. Change the color to bright red. Make sure the size is 38 pixels, and range is 50%. Add drop shadow. Change the color to dark red. Opacity to 50%, distance 10 pixels, spread 5, and the size is 7 pixels. Click OK. Now duplicate our text layer. Hide the outer glow and drop shadow effect by clicking on this eye icon. Double click on the inner shadow. Change the opacity to 75%. And the color by typing this hexadecimal number. F, F, F3, D5. Click OK. Change the choke and size to 1. Click OK. Now duplicate the layer. We will add Gaussian Blur again. Go to Filter. Blur. Gaussian Blur. It will give us two options. We will select Convert to Smart Object. Change the radius to 4.1 pixels. Click OK. Decrease the opacity to 30%. We will now start adding our text again. Type in your text. This time we will type one letter per layer. Create a new letter layer by pressing the blank space and type the letter you want. We will keep doing it until we reach our four letters. Now transform the each letter by pressing Ctrl T and place it in the circle like this. 
decrease its size by dragging near the size icon like this. Now place it in the center of the circle. Keep placing the letters inside the each circles, like this. Now we will apply the effects that we created for our main text. By holding the ALT button, drag the effect to our newly created letter layers like this. Group our new text layers by pressing CTRL G and duplicate it by pressing CTRL J. Right click on the duplicated layer and select convert to smart object. We will add Gaussian Blur again. Change the radius to 4.1 pixels. Decrease the opacity to 30%. We now finally finished our neon signboard effect in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will be happy if you learned even a little about the creation. If you like this tutorial hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials. Until our next tutorial, stay happy. Thank you.